How are we doing today, 76ers? In this one, we're going over the route I take when I am farming to make berry mentats. Now, not to spoil anything, but we ended up making 140 berry mentats out of this run that should only take you around 20, 30-ish minutes, and we didn't even grab everything along the way. Let's stop wasting time, though, and get into the video. All right, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have on green thumb before you start to do this. You definitely want green thumb on under perception as you will get twice as much collectibles from the plants when you collect them. So that is a must have when you're running this. Another good card to have on while you're running this would be through hiker. This way as you're running around collecting, you can then not have your inventory and be weighed down by all the food stuffs you're getting. All right, first thing we're gonna need is regular mentats. You need two brain fungus, one carrot flower, and one fire cap to make your regular mentats. To make berry mentats, you need one brain fungus, one firecracker berry, one regular mentat, and one starlight berry. So the brain fungus you need for both of them. So keep that in mind, uh, you will need a good bit of brain fungus depending on how many mentats and berry mentats you decide you're going to make all right so for the route i run i always start south of slocum joe's so i will always fast travel to slocum joe's all right so once you spawn in here at slocum joe's you just want to turn around and we're going to head south down this road if you want to grab the stuff along the way you can you will need it uh, as you saw back there, there was a couple starlight berry bushes. But I always come down here past this intersection and we'll run up along here. And that bush that's glowing off there to the left is where we will be starting. So we start here. And as you can tell, the plants are glowing on my in my game. I do have a mod on that makes all the experience items glow. So my starlight berry bushes, fire caps, brain fungus, you name it, it's gonna glow if I can make XP stuff out of it. Berry mentat stuff, brain bombs, cranberry relish stuff. If you want that mod, it is glow XP ingredients, brain bombs, berry mentats, cranberry relish on Nexus mods. I will put a link down below for it. Uh, if you're not, on pc unfortunately you cannot use the mod but if you follow the video here learn where all the plants are at they do not change locations they will always spawn in the same spot and after i would say a handful of runs you should learn where they're all at you won't need the mod anyway uh they're fairly easy to track down on this route they're pretty much all in this one section so we start here and i do not have any starlight berries on me i do not have any fire caps on me i have zero brain fungus on me so we will see how much i get at the end of this all right so after we grab that all we're gonna do is keep heading east northeast so you hit the train track here and then all along this hill there's going to be There's going to be starlight berries all up this hill here. So we run up the hill. We will snatch the berries we can. You got one that's sticking out of the ground here. That's, you barely notice it's there if you don't have the mod on. But I'll grab all this stuff up here first. Some of them won't have berries, which is okay. And you want to grab the fire caps along your way also. All right, so after we grab those up the hill there, we're going to head down here to the house, grab the starlight creepers that are around the house here, down by the road. Uh, there are fire caps along the way also. And here at this house, there's usually always something random right here. Uh, lemonade stand, some robots. It's always something random. Makes it interesting. But we're collecting all the stuff along here. Then we jump back up here. Those are the ones we already got. So we just continue along the train tracks, grabbing all the berries and fire caps along the way. Head down to the west. 
pick these up. Basically, we're staying in between the road and the train tracks up there. If you see any other bushes along the way, like here, you can jump off and grab them. There's usually a couple in this little area uh, down from Slocum Joe's, where the just just to the left of where he's spawning. He's spawning there on the road, so it's just to the left of where he's spawning here. Grab that one. There's usually always a couple fire caps on this log. Make sure you grab them. Then we head back. Then once we're back at Slocum Joe's here, we're going to go back up top. You can deal with the people down there if you'd like. You don't have to. Uh, but just grab all the starlight berries you see along this train track. They are all over the place. If you have the mod on, it makes it so much easier to see them. But if you're paying attention and you're on console, you'll still be able to see them. You just gotta keep an eye out for them. Once you get past the mine, that's where the starlight berries will start to pick back up again. As this is how I run it, I'll grab everything over here. As long as you're following the train tracks, you're going down the right path still. Nothing on that one. And then when I get to about this rock, I will break off to the left. Come down, grab the bushes that are down here by the river or by the creek, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going across the road. And we're going to go down the path here. Forested area here in between the road and the creek. There's a couple here. If you need sugar for cranberry relish, make sure you pick that up also. Uh, but we just run down here, grab the fire caps, grab the starlight berries you run into. But look at that. Just in that little stretch there, there was five bushes. Yeah, this one makes six. And then once you get down to about the bend here, once you get to down about the bend here, there's usually a fire cap down here that you want to grab. And then we're going to turn around and come back up the other side of the creek. Just in case we missed any fire caps or anything like that. Now, there are a couple firecracker berry bushes here you can grab. And a few starlight berry bushes on this side, but not many. But you're running back up this way anyway, so you might as well come to this side and grab what you can along the way that you need. All right. So then... From here, we're just following the creek. We're going to go along the creek here. Again, if you need sugar, make sure you're picking up the fire. Or the fire caps. If you need sugar, make sure you're picking up the snap tails. Uh, but we're just going to follow this creek. Make sure you're grabbing the starlight berries and the fire caps you see along the way. And then when you get to this red truck... Okay, there's some on that bush. It, berries on that bush, it looks like. But we're going to leave that so we know where we left off. So when you get to the red truck, you're going across the road, and there's this little island, if you will, that's the creek goes around. Come up here, you're going to grab all the fire caps that are up here, there's usually a handful of them. And then there's usually one along the left side of the bank. And then after that, we go back across. Grab any you missed, and then we will... Continue where we left off. Is that the one we left? So we knew where we left off at. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of follow the train tracks a little bit. There's, you're going to run into a bunch more bushes uh, for starlight berries. But when you get to this side of the red bridge, to the other side of the red bridge, that's about where you want to stop following the train tracks and the creek. You're going to want to instead turn south and head up the mountain. Once you go up this mountain here, you will be in a firecracker berry hill, as I have coined it. So this hill here has a bunch of firecracker berries all around it. So make sure you grab them all, as that is a needed part for... Berry Mentats. And there are a couple Starlight Berry Bushes 
up here also. Not many. I think there's like three at most. Uh, but we come up here for the firecracker berries, not the starlight berries. That's just an added bonus that they're up here also. As long as you follow the crest around, there's two more bushes. Uh, you'll make sure you get everything and not forget any bushes or whatnot. Uh, so I just do a zigzagging pattern back and forth, making sure I grab everything I see. Running around picking up firecrackers up on the hill. All right, and once you get let me get back up here. Then I'll go all over that. All right. Once you get over here to these rocks, that's pretty much the end of the firecracker berry. So what we're going to do is head north, grab the bushes along your way, and we're just going to head down here and back over to that red bridge. As we're going down, make sure you're looking for fire caps. Make sure you're looking for firecracker berry bushes. There are still a few in this area. And look for your starlight creeper bushes in case there's any you might have missed. So there's a firecracker berry bush we'll grab. But there's starlight berry bushes all around here by this red bridge also. Grab them. There's a fire cap we missed. All right. And then from here, we need... All we need is carrot flour outside of what we just gathered. So with what we just gathered, we have... Uh, we have 84 firecracker berries, and you need one to make one berry mentat. So I can make 84 berry mentats with just the firecracker berries I collected there. The starlight berries that we've collected so far, we're at 66, and you need one per berry mentat. So if you need more than that, I can show, I'll show you a couple other places to go, but this is my main route. And then we need brain fungus yet, and we need carrot flower. And then we're going up to Palace of the Winding Path for our carrot flower. All right, so once you load in to Palace of the Winding Path, we're going to come in here and we're going to make a left. And basically all we're doing is coming down here and we're going to follow the outside path here. And you got wild carrot flower all over the place. If you need aster, this is a good place for aster. If you need blood leaf, this is a good place for blood leaf. But all I am after right now are the carrot flowers. As long as you follow this outer path, you're going to run into probably more carrot flower than you will need. And once you hit here, this is where it's full of carrot flowers. So grab all these. Once you get that, you're coming up in here into the courtyard. I bypass the ones that are down below for the time being. I always check up here because they grow. Yep. They grow up here too. Then I'll drop down and grab all these here in the lower courtyard. And once you get all those, we go up the other side, up the stairs. And we got a few more wild carrot flowers up here to grab. Now, the only thing that you gotta watch out for here is you see these ones in the planters? You can't grab those. You can't grab those ones, but you can grab the other ones that are just growing out in the courtyards. So, with that, we just got ourselves 82 carrot flowers and you need one carrot flower to make one regular mentat so that's 82 regular mentats right there we can make 
just getting the carrot flower here in the Palace of the Winding Path. So from there, now we go after the brain fungus. Go to pylon V13 along the train tracks in the Cranberry Bog. The northeast section, it's right next to the uh, Route 65 marker for the road. It's just to the right of that. So we're fast traveling there. All right, now once you spawn in here, you just want to turn around and we are heading pretty much west is where you want to head. You want to head over to these abandoned buildings and all that here along the road. Once you get close to them, just stay off to the left of them. And once you get close to them, you'll see that car down in the ditch in the busted road. That's where we want to start with this for this tunnel down here under the road. So you just come drop down, make a left, and now we're under the road and we're just going to follow this. And you'll see all the brain fungus blowing. It is literally all over down here. If you have the mod on, like I said, it makes it a lot easier to see this stuff. If you don't have the mod on, just go slow throughout here. You will see it. It is literally all over the place down here. And this one, for whatever reason, for me, is always a pain to get. Go through the door. There's usually a roach on the wall. And we just continue on. I'll fast forward all this. I don't think I'll cut any of this. I'll just fast forward it all. You just keep following the tunnel. Make sure you check these different paths. All right. So just continue along the tunnel under the road. Now, like I said, you do need a lot of brain fungus to make berry mentats. It takes two brain fungus to make a regular mentat, and it takes one brain fungus to make a berry mentat. So this probably will not be enough brain fungus, which is okay. So I will show you where else to go. And then that's the end of the tunnel. And then once you get out of the tunnel, if you still need more brain fungus, which we got 62 out of that tunnel, which is not bad, but we need, we need more because we need two for regular Mentat and one for Berry Mentat. So we're going to go down here to Firebase Hancock. All right, once you spawn in at Firebase Hancock, all along these crevices, there's going to be brain fungus. If I just jump here with this mod on, you can see all the brain fungus out there glowing. Easier to see it at night, but it's there. So just follow these crevices. Check in between the rocks. Go over to other crevices. If there's some there, there's some up here. You can grab... All this brain function, you're going to have more than you're going to know what to do with, to be honest with you. It is all over the place. There's some more in these crevices over here. There's some back there I missed, but oh well. If this still isn't enough brain fungus for you, well, guess what? You're in luck. Because I know another spot that has a boatload of brain fungus. If that spot isn't enough for you, going down these crevices in the... Uh, Cranberry Bog area, you're going to go up into the mire to the Big Maw. Once you come into the Big Maw, you can see all that brain fungus glowing. There's more down there. So if you need some and all that's not enough for you, this is another spot that has it out the wazoo that you come and collect. But once you get enough brain fungus for the amount of mentats and berry mentats you want to make. That is it. You head back to your camp. All right, once you get back to your camp, you're going to want to go to your card stand because you're going to want to make sure that you have on chemist. You get double the quantity when you craft chems and mentats and berry mentats are chems. So make sure you have chemist on 
Another one you want to make sure you have on is Super Duper at three stars. Uh, when you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double the result. That is 30% for each and every Mentat you're making. So if you have those two on, you will make more Mentats and Berry Mentats than you were expecting. So with them on, you go to your chemistry station, go to drugs, start off with your regular Mentats. Because without regular Mentats, you cannot make Berry Mentats. And we're only going to make a few here. We're only going to make a few here. We'll make 10. So that was 20 I just made. On top of the 30% hit a couple times. So we got 59 regular Mentats. We have 377 berry mentats on us at the current moment. So once I make these, that's 59. So out of those 59 we made, since we doubled and we had the 30% from Super Duper, we ended up making 140. That is 140 berry mentats out of that quick little run we just did. If you need more starlight berries, what you want to do is you want to come to the deep. It's just east of Newgad uh, and southeast of Summersville. You're heading here. You're going to go under some water and then you will pop out and there will be an area in here where there is uh, some starlight berries you can grab. You can grab brain bombs while you're in here too. Or brain fungus, not brain bombs. While you're in here. Careful of the cave crickets. They will kill you. But all you're doing is you're going to come in here. I don't have a suit on. So I can't go down in here. Uh, let's put that on. So you'll come down in here and you'll come to this lake. In under cave lake. You're going to want to swim. Swimmy, swim, swim. And then once you come out, you will come to an area that has some more starlight creeper vines going around here. So, if you need more, the deep is a good place to get some more. Uh, there's one there, there. Just keep going in. You're going to eventually come into an area where there's a house, or a building, not necessarily a house, but a building, that is surrounded by them also. So, as you see down there, there's a building down there, and then there's starlight creeper berry bushes all around it. I go live every day if I can, and post new videos once a week. So if you don't want to miss the next live or video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon and make sure notifications are turned on. If you like what I do and want to support me even further, give this video a super thanks or become a channel member here on YouTube. Members get a badge next to their name in the comments and during the live streams along with other perks. But as always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.